So um, the look that I'm doing today is a um, look from my smoky palette. Um, I didn't stick to any particular six. I just kind of used a few of um, these colors here and then a couple of these down here. Um, what I'm going to try to do this um, is stick to one palette like per look. I have like, I don't know, like 10 palettes, and um, which to a lot of people out there on YouTube, that's probably not a lot, but to me, it's, it's a lot. Not to mention all of my like little, you know, two shadows or trios or um, like Coastal Sense pigments that I have. And um, I'm, what I'm going to try to do is do looks on one palette or stick to one like if it's coastal sense loose pigments then that's what it is that day or um just like all the little loose shadows i have in my drawer um or just one palette just because i i'm gonna try not to buy any more makeup and i feel like i'm buying things and i'm not using them and i want to get those looks out there so today i just did a i don't know i guess it's like a smoky look i don't really know but i love this nyx lip gloss really sexy. Ooh, look at it, how shiny it is. Um, yeah, it's just a little smoky look. I'm using my smoky palette, and if you guys have it, stay tuned, and if you guys don't, I'm sure you'll be able to dupe some colors that, um, you have, that you have in your, um, collection. And, like I said, uh, well, I say at the end of the video, <laughs> Thanks for subscribing, guys. So if you want to see how I achieve this nice little smoky look right here, um, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so today to start, I use Benefit's Stay Don't Stray um, instead of the Urban Decay Karma Potion. I've been kind of stuck in a rut. Um, but uh, I can tell you that it's like this one is the tester um, or the little small one you can buy. Um, I think this big size is like $26 it's worth it I endorse it I love it it just it mattifies your eye if mattify is a word I can definitely tell a difference and the reason why I put the stay don't stray on is because it's Friday and I've got some shopping to do I'm gonna go get my nails done and um, Friday's like a long day you know I don't know what I'm gonna get into tonight I might go out or something and I might not have time to change my makeup so um, just knowing that it's going to be there. And then also I put an ample amount of um, the uh, milk NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in milk. So just using my um, smoky palette that I just um, hauled for you guys. Um, the color that I'm going to be using in my inner corner is this one here. And then um, this will be on the main part of my lid. And then this one will be part of my outer lid. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started using a defined angled eye brush going into the inner corner with that nice orange bronze. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit and over right to the crease. Not above the crease but definitely into it. Now taking a medium child brush, I'm going to be picking a sort of cranberry color, I guess, patting that on the middle part of my lid. And you guys can tell how pigmented this is because I'm not going to have to take a lot of time to um, apply the product. And then I'm just going to marry this line here. like so. Alrighty. Now using um, a small L'Oreal hip eyeshadow brush, I'm going to be taking that deep burgundy with the gold dual tone and I'm going to be placing that on the outside. Smoking out the look and bringing that inward. Sort of marrying the lines, making those disappear, like so. There you go. Okay, and so now 
after that, I'm going to just be using a crease brush and I'm just going to sort of blend those together. See how that line and just, just go ahead and blend that out. Makes it look really good. Okay, so I'm going to be taking first this color here. It's like a charcoal blue and then a deeper version of that. So with the first color, I'm just going to be taking my big fluffy, um, well actually I use my dough brush. It's an angled brush. I don't use this one very often and I really don't know why because it's really good for placement. And you can pick some of the pigment up on the brush and you pretty much just, this is like a good one for beginners because you basically just place the crease color onto the crease where you want it to go. It's actually really nice. I don't know why I don't use it more. I just kind of get stuck on the brushes that I, you know, like or I'm used to. But I'm going to just go, I wipe some of the product off and then I'm going to blend that upward. And then with a small pencil brush, I'm going to take that darker color and just go ahead and define the crease a little more and just place that right there. Not blending too much, but we definitely don't want it to look like a drawn line. But it just gives your eyes some depth and um, puts, just makes it look a little nicer. Now, to finish up the shadow, oh, forgot to tell you guys, I'm going to be taking this light sort of taupe color um, and it has a little bit of a gold shimmer to it and I'm going to place that on underneath my brow bone like that so and there we go with that that's pretty good okay now for my eyes, I did a few different things. I'm not going to do everything on camera, but I use my Avon Glimmer Sticks. You guys have seen this before. It's in, um, what's the name of this color? Sugar Plum. And it's a nice uh, plum, obviously, but it's sparkly. I love it. And I'm just taking that underneath the lash line all the way in on top of the gold orange color. But making sure to concentrate underneath the lash line because on the lash line I'm going to be using black. Okay. So it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead off of camera put my liquid eyeliner on and mascara and then I'll be right back. Okay, so um, on my eyes I used three uh, mascaras. These three. Um, Maybelline one by one, Maybelline falsies, and then for the bottom is the Clinique bottom lash mascara. And um, for eyeliner, the Urban Decay in Zero, which is my absolute all-time favorite. I probably will never use anything else unless they stop making it. Okay, now it's a no-name blush. It's from Color Workshop. Got it for Christmas. I'm going to be using the darker color here. It's a Oh gosh, I want to say like a deep coral rose with a little bit of gold. Sounds like a lot, don't it? I think I'm going to use my light little fan brush, which I, I just recently found out. I'm pretty sure this is for cleanup, but um, it works for me. Find out what works for you. Okay, I'm just going to be placing that. Like I saw um, on a tutorial or a brush review that it was like for cleanup of fallout. But, um, and I can see how it could be for that. It's totally made for that, that sweeping. But, um, this is just how I've learned. I mean, I'll probably change it up once I get a little more expertise under my belt. But, anyway, there we go. Nice, pretty hue on my cheeks. I'm loving it. Blending that out a little bit with my Kabuki brush. I don't want it so concentrated. Okay. 
Now, for my lips, easy breezy. I'm going to be using my NYX, um, which I just hauled, NYX lip gloss. It's mega shine lip gloss in Smoky Look. It smells like, oh, I don't know, like candy from the movies. Like when you go maybe into those bulk candy stores and you can pick out all kinds of stuff that's going to rot your teeth. Completely what it reminds me of. Mm. So there we go. That completes the look for today. Not sure what I'm going to call it. It's just a nice um, smoky look, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Um, appreciate everybody who's subscribing to my channel. Like, I love it. It means so much to me. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for some spring looks because spring has supposedly sprung. I wouldn't know. It's 40 degrees here. <laughs> anyway, peace, YouTube. Till next time.